want you to help me Help me on this journey Oh, help me on my way And oh Lord, I want you to help me Fortunately, I've always had a strong foundation with God, always. Growing up in my home, you just do. And so God was always there. It's just I wasn't always listening. She was driven. She was mm. quite a driven, she's always been quite a driven person. Um, but she was just driving to be independent. She yeah. just really wanted to be her own person. Independently to me meant that I could cross the street by myself. Uh, it meant that I could go to a store, I could go to college, but because I wasn't dealing with the blindness, then I was failing at everything. So I was, I was trying to be independent, but I wasn't really um, accepting the fact that I couldn't see. And I think at that point, she realized that really, she needs to get some training. That's what in the end led her to Minneapolis and blended mm -hmm. her to Blind Ink, because she realized that I can't do it. I think for, for me, my, uh, my life begins, my childhood begins. The day I became blind, I don't really remember much before that. And so I just remember being in the third grade and in the morning I could see the board, I went to recess and I came back and I couldn't see it. And mom just said one day, does it hurt? <laughs> I was like, no. And so she's like, all right, that's it. I met Michelle when she was looking at getting some additional blindness skills training and she wanted a different approach to what she had had previously. I think when Michelle first started out and uh, uh, first she viewed her blindness uh, more as a liability and this uh, kind of giant boulder that she was carrying around with her and really weighing her down. The blindness was controlling her life rather than Michelle being in control of her life. When I got to Blind Ink, I realized that blindness is respectable. I also realized that my cane is my freedom. It gets me everywhere and it's wonderful. I realized in order to live as a blind person, it just means that I do things differently, use alternative techniques. And what was great is that learning Braille, I could read the Bible for myself. I had never been able to do that. I was like, oh my gosh, Palm, Psalm has a P. You know, I didn't know Psalm had a P in it. And I told her that you can go on to college. You'll now have the blindness skills to be able to be successful, travel around, take your own notes, um, read the materials. She then decided that she was going to go to uh, college and to McNally Smith. Jeff Cavins came about because after I got my training, I wasn't prepared totally for how the public was going to see me. I remember her talking about how uh, other people would look upon her situation and then ask the question, well, what did you do wrong? Or what did your parents do wrong? Or why, why are you blind? And there must be some negative reason. He opened the scriptures to me about the man being born blind. And the Lord responds and he said, this was in order that God would be glorified, that God could be glorified in this situation. You know, I'll be healed in heaven right now, or maybe God wants to heal me next week. But for right now, he's using it. And it's really hard to get across to people that God can use something, use an adversity. I was still struggling with my purpose, and I wanted to make sure that all that I did, I was doing for the Lord. One of the things then that I helped Michelle with was to discover um, her mission. So I think as we were talking about all these things, the specialness of her occasion, the fact that she does have uh, a special uh, gift and um, insight that she can offer the world came to her. And as she started having the courage then to share it openly, sharing her faith and sharing um, her talents with others, then the Lord has called upon that more and more for her. He helped me to, to take my artistry and turn it outward rather than inward. It's God and the Holy Spirit, you know, it's a gift from the Holy Spirit, and you're, you're responsible now to do something with it. The depth of the, of the commitment of the faculty in mentoring her, I mean, people, different people would take different times in doing that. I would do a little bit, um, 
but she had also explored within her voice faculty with Judy Donaghy and many others, um, all of the aspects of what it means to be a singer. In a live setting, I feel like this is what I was born to do. This is why I'm here. I have absolutely a hundred percent like this is what the God has gifted me to do, and I know it's a gift. Because sometimes I feel like I'm on stage, I'm looking at myself like, why do you know how to do this? <laughs> so I don't question it anymore. I just say, thank you, Lord. Live events with Michelle, you you kind of never really know what you're getting into. I guess I'm prepared for the for the chaos or for whatever's going to go on in, in a way. So I, I'm kind of calmed by that because I'm used to it, I guess. I, I know also because we've uh, it's always gone well. Before I used to get on stage and I have to sing the best I can ever, you know. <laughs> and now it's just, God, what do you want me to say now? You know, how do you want it to sound in this moment? And there's a freedom in that. We can really feel each other out where we're going. She, she goes this way, I'll go with her. If I go this way, she'll go. And we, uh, we like to keep the spontaneity. We kind of have an idea about the songs and I give them the music, but um, I don't, I, we don't plan how we're going to end or how long it's going to be or what the tempo's going to be. Uh, once again, I, I'm leaving room for God. If we're, she's singing, she is absolutely 100% committed to the moment. My first CD is called All to Call. It's meditations for the journey. <laughs> it's very meditative, it's very laid back. I'm usually a very hard hitting singer and I want it to be very true to what I'm feeling right now and true to what the music is. I'm kind of sharing my intimate prayer time with people, with the audience and I love it, I love it. I think my biggest challenge is worrying about whether or not people are gonna like it. And so I had to eventually just say, you know, God, I, I perform. I had to take what I do on stage and bring that into a studio and, and it's that I perform for an audience of one and that's God. I've been able to go in there and, and picture God in front of me and, and sing or picture my prayer sisters and singing, or calling up some prayer sisters before I go in and say, okay, I'm in the studio now, and please pray. Definitely her faith walk has been, um, it's been a big journey, it's been a long journey, and the blindness, I was just, she always used to say that, you know, um, it is a gift, that she does see the blindness as a gift, and it keeps her humble. Now when I look back, I can see God has been traveling with me the whole time. I could really, really see it, because Everything led up to that moment. When I'm standing there, you know, behind that mic, I could not have gotten there without these other things. So coming from a home that's very, you know, very Christian home, and then going to Blind Incorporated, and then going to Blind Incorporated led to college. Then college led to all these mentors, all these steps. God was actually taking me along. It's it's been a long journey, but He's been leading the journey. And and now when I look back, I'm like. If any of those pieces weren't there, I would not have been able to be doing what I'm doing now with the confidence that I have. With regards to her blindness, is that she's embraced it. And it's almost like a non-factor. And so she doesn't hide from that, but uses that as a strength rather than a hindrance. I never think of her as blind. Mm -hmm. She's Michelle. Something that Michelle really grabbed a hold of is that God can use anything. She does something to my heart, you know, when I hear, when I hear her sing. You can feel it. She touches people, you know, with her voice. She, she's, I don't, I don't know anybody that's ever heard of Michelle and, and wasn't moved. Bravery isn't about not being scared. It's about being scared and doing it anyway, that kind of, and that's what she exudes to me. She's just like the, the most brave person. And I think her confidence has grown through her faith in God, um, through Jesus Christ, most definitely. Um, her confidence has grown there. And just um, accepting who she is and accepting the blindness, not that that's the be all and end all of who she is. She's, God has shown her so much more of herself. Now God has enabled me to see that blindness is my gift. It's something I was running away from and now I would never change it. I would never want to be something different.